welcome back to the channel as you guys might have seen in my previous video i had double eye surgery i was diagnosed with an eye condition called keratoconus in mid-july and basically that condition causes your cornea to bulge outward to kind of like a shape of a cone um, and it's progressive and i'm 27 now but it can continue to progress until my mid to late 30s and thankfully there's a surgery that uh, recently came out over like six years ago i believe um, through fda approval that helps uh, stop the progression of the eye condition so um, usually people only do one eye at a time so you only get one done and then you can rely on the other one um, as you heal and then usually you do uh, the second one a month later well, I decided just to knock it out. I got both the eyes done and the procedure itself was pretty brutal. Um, usually they give you like some sort of anxiety medication uh, like Valium to help calm your nerves since you're awake watching the surgery happen to yourself. Showed up in the morning, they didn't have it, unfortunately. Uh, so I just kind of went in and it was pretty terrible. They basically scrape off the top layer of your eye and then they follow it up with a half an hour of eye drops and then you do a half an hour of uv light in that eye and since i did both eyes they kind of had to uh do one eye at a time and then switch to the other one and back and forth between each steps so i think the whole procedure was about an hour and a half two hours um and then the next few days were weren't very fun um my eyes really hurt uh the night of after the surgery and uh i basically just took some medicine to sleep um so ibuprofen and tylenol to help with headaches and since then i haven't really been on my computer much uh because i can't <laughs> i haven't been able to see uh and this week actually i've been able to see decently enough to be on my computer for short periods of time um Again, it's not, it's like very difficult for me to, you know, read the screen and it causes my eyes to strain out. So I do it in short periods of time and mainly just spending my time like going for walks, listening to podcasts. I had to turn up my phone uh, font size all the way to the max to be able to read it. And that's been working decently. Um, so I've been able to use my phone a lot more than my computer. Um, and for the first, Two weeks, I didn't really, well, a week and a half, I didn't go on the computer at all. Um, I just want to go through what I've been up to um, outside of just recovering from surgery. I, I did a lot on my Notion page and stood up a new website over the last couple of days um, using Squarespace. I use Squarespace for uh, my nonprofit's website, Adisky Foundation. And I, I really liked it. You know, obviously it's a no code uh, solution that you can embed uh, code inside of. Um, but I really liked the, the usability of it. And I decided to do the same thing for my uh, personal site. In my previous video, I mentioned that I was using Notion.so, which basically just renders a Notion page as a website. And that worked fine, but I kind of outgrew it and I didn't really like the design. There wasn't a lot of customability for it. So going down the no-code solution, I used to make websites when I was like 15, 16. That's when I first started to learn to code. And I really enjoyed it uh, at the time but it was very basic, you know, HTML, CSS, a tad bit of like JavaScript and jQuery plugins, um, but it wasn't very extensive. And obviously I didn't really go down that rap, uh, avenue since I'm an Android engineer. I specialize in Android development and I can, you know, still stand up some basic HTML uh, websites. Uh, I've done some Node.js in the past, um, but, you know, I don't really have the time for standing up a whole website myself, and I don't really want to do that. Um, so I just use Squarespace to put together a simple website using one of their templates. And I also used uh, their like link in bio uh, website builder as well. Um, that's an additional cost. So I have one specifically for my links. I set it up as links.tristanlarson.com and it really works well. 
Um, it kind of fits the same theme, slightly different between like the fonts and stuff because the link in bio uh, website builder doesn't give you as many font selections as you can through the regular Squarespace website builder. So I was able to manage setting those up fairly easily. Um, although it did take a little bit longer because my eyes, uh, I, you know, it takes me a little bit longer to read and uh, I take a lot of breaks, like I mentioned earlier. And outside of that, I went through Notion. It really just cleaned up my Notion um, I used to use it a lot in the past um, for goals and everything like that, but I kind of fell out of it for the last year and a half, two years. Um, I would still use it for like financial tracking and different type of planning, but uh, I really fell outside of like the goals and setting goals and working towards them. Although I had, you know, my own goals in my head, I just never wrote them down or anything. And I really wanted to get Notion set up to track those better and really put more emphasis on those goals and really write out the action steps that I want to do. And as I'm doing YouTube here, I have some goals around that. And my first video actually I posted was, I believe five years ago. And it was, I mean, you guys can go check it out. It's still there. I didn't uh, private it or delete it or anything, but I did a lot of tutorials for uh, Android development, some Node.js, standing up servers and stuff like that. Um, but I've been wanting to do other videos outside of those for many years. And uh, I just never did. I just, I got to a point in my life where I'm not doing a lot of things outside of work and my nonprofit. I used to do a lot of freelance, which took up a lot of my time. Um, but as I started making more and more money, I didn't really need to supplement it with freelance income because uh, freelance is kind of a headache. It's a, it's a lot of work to you know work with clients outside of a nine to five. And it was great when I was starting my career out, I could work on some different projects and really just uh, learn and grow and a little bit more income on the side. But it's not something you know is worth my time personally anymore. Uh, it doesn't provide a lot of value to me. Um, at the current moment. So I stopped doing that a few years ago and uh, been focusing on some different things, you know, like launching the nonprofit, stuff like that, and really just trying to grow personally. Um, but this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm happy that I'm getting to it.